guys welcome back to envision academy in this video i am going to narrate a story of guy de maupassant an uncomfortable bed one autumn i went to spend the hunting season with some friends in a chateau in picardy my friends were fond of practical jokes as all my friends are i do not care to know people who are not when i arrived they gave me a princely reception which at once aroused suspicion in my mind they fired off rifles embarrassed me made much of me as if they expected to have great fun at my expense I said to myself look out old ferret they have something in store for you during dinner the mirth was excessive far too great in fact i thought here are people who have more than their share of amusement and apparently without reason they must have planned some good joke assuredly i am to the victim of the joke attention During the entire evening everyone laughed in an exaggerated fashion i smelt a practical joke in the air as dog smells game but what was it i was watchful restless i did not let a word or a meaning or a gesture escape me everyone seemed to me an object of suspicion and even i looked distrustfully at the faces of the servants It was time to retire and the whole household came to escort me to my room. Why? They called to me good night. I entered the apartment, shut the door and remained standing without moving a single step, holding the wax candle in my hand. I heard laughter and whispering in the corridor. Without doubt they were spying on me. I cast a glance around the walls, the furniture, the ceiling, the hangings and the floor. I saw nothing to justify my suspicion. I heard people moving about outside my door. I had no doubt they were looking through the keyhole. An idea came into my head. My candle may suddenly go out and leave me in darkness. Then I went across to the master mantelpiece and lighted all the wax candles that were on it. After that, I cast another glance around me without any success. I advanced with short steps carefully examining the apartment nothing i inspected every article one after the other still nothing i went over to the window the shutters large wooden shutters were open i shut them with great care and then drew the curtains and placed a chair in front of them so as to have nothing to fear from outside Then I cautiously sat down. The armchair was solid. I did not venture to get into the bed. However, this time was flying and I ended up coming to the conclusion that I was foolish. If my friends were spying on me, as I supposed, then they must be waiting for the success of the joke they had been preparing for, and in the meantime they must have been laughing enormously at my terror. so i made up my mind to go to bed but the bed was particularly suspicious looking i pulled at the curtains they seemed to be secure all the same there was danger i was going perhaps to receive a cold shower from over it or perhaps the moment i stretched myself out i would find myself sinking to the floor with my mattress I searched in my memory for all the practical jokes of which I have ever experienced and I did not want to be caught ah uh, certainly not certainly not then I suddenly thought of a precaution which I believed would be effective I caught hold of the side of the mattress cautiously and very slowly drew it towards me it came away followed by the sheet and the rest of the bed clothes I dragged all these objects into the very middle of the room facing the entrance. I made my bed over again as best I could at some distance from the suspected bed sheet and the corner which had filled me with such anxiety. Then I extinguished the candles and groping my way I slipped over over under the bedclothes. 
for at least another hour i remained awake starting at the slightest sound everything seemed quiet in the chateau i fell asleep i must have been in a deep sleep for a long time but all of a sudden i was awakened with a start by the fall of a heavy body tumbling right on top of my own at the same time i received on my face on my neck and on my chest a burning liquid which made me utter a howl of pain and a dreadful noise as if a sideboard laden with plates and dishes had fallen down almost deafened me i felt myself suffocating under the weight that was crushing me and preventing me from moving i stretched out my hand to find out what was the nature of this object i felt a face a nose and a whiskers then with all my strength i launched out a blow at this face but i immediately received a hell of coughings which made me jump straight out of the soaked sheets and rushed in my night shirts into the corridor the door of which i found open oh heavens it was brought daylight the noise brought my friends hurrying into my apartment and we found sprawling over my improvised bed the dismalled velvet he while bringing me my morning cup of tea had tripped over this obstacle in the middle of the floor and fallen on his stomach spilling my breakfast over my face the precautions i had taken in closing the shutters and going to sleep in the middle of the room had only brought about the practical joke i had been trying to avoid oh how they all laughed that day thank you please subscribe to my channel for more interesting stories and please click the like button